Hello everyone, wishing you a great Friday and a great weekend. May your weekend be so blessed with love and light and miracles. Here is today's daily angel message reading. And it is from the Oracle cards and um, it has to do with some challenging things, challenging times that you have experienced lately. But um, in the end, this is a positive reading. Um, as I was pulling the cards, um, I was really getting the clear message that is coming through with this reading and I hope that this resonates with you. And as usual, this is for empaths and highly sensitive people, as my work is for those kind of people. And um, if this resonates and if you have any thoughts or comments or questions or if you want to work with me, get your private reading with me, that is completely possible. Um, I would love to have your interaction with me. As usual, <laughs> you can comment and ask questions and anything. I just love to interact with you all and uh, don't hesitate to book a reading if you are interested in one. If you feel like you've been through a lot and you, you're still struggling and you wish to have some guidance it, some insight on your life and what is happening around you and to get some guidance from the angels as well. So we have the first card here is Page of Air. So there is some challenging information that you have received or you're going to receive and there might be some delays or changes to plans and Something has been told to you that wasn't quite nice, that you maybe didn't like at all, and you're probably dealing with that, that fact, uh, and maybe thinking like, why did this happen, um, and what is going on, etc. So I feel like with this message, you have been coping, or you're coping right now with something, and it might be pretty serious for you it's something that you take seriously and um, the angels are encouraging you to just stay honest with yourself and honor others and try to maintain your your common sense and be logical uh, but still be curious about the outcome because I feel like there is still hope even though it might feel challenging for you right now, there is still hope. And um, try not to act impulsive. Just try to stay calm. Because the angels always love the calm energy. And they are about calm energy. So um, they are just encouraging you. And your guardian angel is encouraging you with this message to maintain your peace of mind. Even though you are in this situation and then we have great sadness with three of air. So uh, I feel like you're being called to heal from something. And it's involving this challenging information. You're being called to heal. And you might be feeling sad and maybe hopeless and tired. And you're being called to forgive somebody or yourself. So this is something that you definitely need to step up to and it is a growing period in your life, I feel. And even though you're feeling sad, maybe right now or soon, I hope that you don't let that get you down. But just ask for guidance from the angels and from your spirit guides probably and... Um, Try to trust your higher self as well. Just try to trust that you have been guided anyway, even though there might be some sad things happening. Try not to see yourself as a weak victim at all, because that's just not the way to go. Everything is just about learning and growing. Then we have Ace of Air. Um... That is saying about some ideas, inspirations that you're going to have. So this is a positive card. This is in the future, I feel. And there is something that will be 
a revelation for you and you're going to start seeing a truth of something and you, maybe you'll you'll get an aha moment like okay this is what this is about and something new might be beginning for you but it, it might feel challenging but just still try not to be scared um it could anyway just lead to something happiness some, some something happier and i feel like it will definitely it will be um a positive change that you will experience uh soon in the future but um it might feel challenging at first so just take what resonates with you uh king of earth so here are the positive cards <laughs> The final cards of this reading successful time you're going to have Midas touch you're going to feel like you're the king of the earth <laughs> and um, there are so just some opportunities that will come your way and please just don't let those go unnoticed so try to see them and, and just take them take them as they are which is positive opportunities So you're going to be this, like this king here, responsible, practical, generous, professional. You're going to be this, this amazing, strong person very soon, even though you don't, you don't feel like it right now. I know <laughs> as you're watching this reading, um, this will come in a few months, I feel. So something will take a turn and it will be challenging. And you might be feeling like you're going through a breakthrough, but that is very positive. So hold on to your faith and positive mindset. Then we have the final card of this reading, Seven of Water. Uh, so there is going to be some decision that you need, will, that you need to make. Uh, and the angels are encouraging you and supporting you with this that you would just stop procrastinating because you need to move on you need to take the steps you need to maybe do some research on something maybe it's work involved i feel for most of you and it is a change that is this happening in your life but you have to stop being stuck basically you have to embrace the healing embrace the change embrace the challenges embrace a new situation and you know just take it and take the opportunities and you know set yourself free and that is what your angels want to tell you your guardian angel always wants you to be happy and, and not stuck and especially not stuck in an abusive relationship if if this is what your situation is right now that you're dealing with a toxic person or a toxic job or anything toxic of course you need to move on from that situation it's not healthy so anyway you know your own situation so take what resonates with you but yeah i would love to hear from you and like i said if you're interested in your own reading you can always contact me um by a message or email or you can just book me through my website so i wish you a great rest of the day and um, thank you again for watching namaste